So coincidentally, uh, a month after my daughter's microwave failed, our microwave failed. So we just pulled this out of the house and um, the good news is it doesn't have any protective screws with the raised dimple in the middle. So I should be able to get into it and see what happened. Um, the bad news is it's an over the range microwave. So everything inside of it is going to be greasy and nasty, even though we didn't really do a lot of greasy cooking that was in the house before we moved in. So I'm going to take this apart. I suspect it's a blown diode because it's still, uh, when you turn it on, the lights work, the clock works, the fans work, the, uh, everything works about it, except it doesn't heat, uh, which tells me that the, um, the magnetron is not outputting uh, microwaves, probably due, to, again, to a commonly failed diode. Um, I mean, it could be worse. It could be transformers burnt out or something like that. But um, So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm not sure I'm going to salvage the parts and clean them all up like I did with the last project because that's a mess. But maybe I can offer it up for somebody who needs one and um, replace the diode for them. So let's have a look. So these microwaves have more screws than you could shake a stick at. While relatively easy to get out in this case because they weren't the uh, protective screws, there's still a lot of work to do and you gotta very carefully remove some of these panels. Um, you kinda just gotta feel your way around. I managed not to destroy this uh, chassis or case. Um, there's some tabs, there's a whole host of screws, so you just got to work your way around and get it out. But this one is relatively uh, accessible, and that's the beauty of some of these these older microwaves, is you could actually get inside of them without ruining the sheet steel and all that other good stuff. So this one's actually a lot cleaner than the, the one my daughter had. It's not all caked with grease. And the other good thing about this is... It's got the microwave oven transformer. I'm not a big, you know, I'm only toying around with these microwaves, but I'm not a big fan of the inverter microwave because it's just so many difficult parts, so hard to replace. I mean, this is, this is relatively, uh, it, it's so simple in design, albeit maybe more expensive. So I knew it was a microwave oven transformer for two reasons. One, the weight, when we pulled it off the wall, it was significantly heavier than the inverter microwave. And the second reason I knew it was a microwave oven transformer is because there's no there's no uh, features here that indicate uh, uh, it's uh, smart uh, technology or variable power. This is just a hysteresis on and off, which might not be optimal for cooking, but it's a hell of a lot easier to work on. Um, so this one... So let me get a screwdriver because this was just plugged in and I want to make sure that capacitor is discharged. Hold on a second. Let's see if there's any charge on this. Hard, hard to get at at. Uh, let me see if I get a better tool. So I cob job this heavily insulated uh, house wiring and I'm taking further precautions by using a tool with an insulated handle. Let's see if I can kill myself. Seems to be discharged. I don't see any sparks or anything. So I've shorted out those two terminals on that capacitor. See? Nothing. If I was smart, I'd get my multimeter and ensure. Well, just to be careful, I've shorted it out. I don't know how much voltage really remains on these things despite the warning with all the electricity attached to it. It probably dissipates relatively quickly, but just as a precaution. 
So there's the diode. I suspect that's what failed. But let me uh, see if I can get it out of there and have a look around. There's also these protective uh, temperature elements. You know, there could be something going on with... Let me just have a look around. Transformer looks pristine and clean. This could probably be fixed up and given away. This looks pretty good on the inside. One end of this diode pulls off the capacitor with just a lug. And the other end that goes to the ground of the chassis, I have to unscrew. And then what I'm going to do is uh, inspect this uh, diode with my uh, multimeter. That screw is so hard to get at with a regular screwdriver that I had to fashion a plier and a small screw tip uh, Phillips. And I can get in there just now and, and work it out. So it's going to take me a second, but it's, uh, you know, at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Well, there's a will, there's a way. When you're a loser, you're a douche. So I think we have a shorted diode because no matter what direction I put this in, my continuity meter And I'm kind of not really holding it that well because I'm trying to film at the same time. But if I switch it around and go in the opposite direction, I still get continuity. And uh, should not be continuous in both directions. Let me, uh, there's this diode tester. I'm not sure what the hell that does, but it's telling me I got zero volts in that direction and if I switch the leads around with one hand I got zero volts in that direction so I got a shorted diode I think which could be the reason why this failed because uh, you won't be getting the voltage multiplier effect um, if it's shorted so um I don't know if I have another one of these. I think this is a bigger microwave than the one I tore apart previously. So it might not have the, uh, it might not be, this one might be uh, rated for more current. Um, but yeah, it looks like I can replace this diode and get the microwave working again. Um, except, I don't know, do I want to salvage it and get the parts out of it or do I want to give it to somebody after I fix it and spend all this money on a diode and something else goes wrong because it's 15 20 years old so I don't know I just kind of this is just another example of a, a, an electronic um, device that uh, you could likely repair without having to buy a new microwave um, let me think about this and what I want to do and uh, I don't know, I'm tempted just to tear it apart and salvage the, uh, the transformer and everything. Hold on. What do you think? Should I just salvage the parts or uh, offer it up on your free site and have somebody just want to take it and repair it with a new diode? Or is electronics not allowed on your site? Um, I mean, they are allowed. You want to just see if anybody is interested in replacing a diode in a, a microwave that works before I destroy it? All right, there you go. I mean, not destroy it. You're just going to take it for parts, right? We're going to collect a bunch of parts out of this that I'll never use. And uh, uh, thanks, bad diode. 